question. Me, 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 you should question, question outside of the one dialogue that that one character <laughs> says. Speaking of that one character, welcome to the Geek First Podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Transitions. Is that actually the start? Sure, yeah. All right. Introduce my name yourself. is Kirkland Patzer. Joined by, on my left, Mr. Taylor Field. <laughs> Taylor looks to his left before he was. <laughs> 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 Just to make sure. Yeah. I'm the King of Hearts, Travis Snail. King of Hearts? Yeah. Why? Go get it. Well, I'm the King of Spades. <laughs> the King of Spades. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like the Spades. Spades are cool. And last but not least. Well, I don't want to be a card name. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> they weren't. I, it's, it's literally a wrestling name. It has nothing to do with the card. Well, like, mine's not a wrestling name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. mine was. Way of mine them. was, so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just Jessica today. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice to just oh. Jessica. I'm just Jessica. And here we are. Okay. Oh. We're, gonna, we're <laughs> doing, uh, I guess, part two of video game characters. We did one a long time ago with mm-hmm. Video Game Versa. This will be part two. Long time ago, yeah. Long yeah. Time ago. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and then, yeah, let's start out. Let's not right. waste a single breath. All right. First, Agent 47. Oh, he's about to get killed. Versus Lulu. Lulu. So, so I need a brief uh, on both of these characters. Yeah, I don't know Agent 47. Agent 47. You want to take it off or I'll take it off? Tell take me about Lulu and I'll even... I don't know who Lulu is. Lulu's mine. <laughs> Tell me. She's a mage from Final Fantasy X and Ten Two. Mage. Not yeah. doing so well for Agent 47. No, <laughs> no she can do... Thunder, fire, and... But does she have a gun? Yeah, is she, is she <laughs> vulnerable to bullets? <laughs> or a good-looking bullet. Or fiber wire. <laughs> or fiber wire. Uh, well, I don't think that she has anything to stop her from getting hit by bullets. Ooh. So that and means... he is a great shot. Does he have a he, sniper? Yeah, rifle? it is. Oh, he has any weapon That's on his... the man, really. Yeah, they, like, he's Lulu a clone. might actually lose this now. He can use a minigun. <laughs> yeah. I, I Give me a case for Lulu here. What, what of her magical powers are going to bring her to victory? She can fucking electrocute him. Have Fair a enough. bolt of lightning come what? down from the sky. She can set him on fire. Maybe she can burn the bullets as they're traveling. Yeah, maybe. Is that does thing? the lightning just instantly just appear there? Or does she I don't like, know, cast the, does her thing and then she has to wait like a second for the clouds to come and then the lightning What's her cast down. time on her abilities? Yeah. yeah that's I what can, I I can like a fireball charge here? <laughs> she mana? I, I can look it up. She, she does have mana. I will. Does she need mana pops? But technically he has a limit on bullets before he has to refresh and he has time to aim too, so I mean... I can't really... But he's Agent 47. He's got a quick shot, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he's a clone. Why why am I... The clone is just made to be a killing machine, so he... (laughs) He's basically a clone from Star Wars. Wait, he's a clone. basically what he is. So he... Even if he loses, he's not really losing because he's just a clone. So his stats are... No, but he's 40... We're talking about Agent 47. Oh, like... Not Agent... The man himself? Number numbers. Yes. The man, the one, the only and he's, agent. So he doesn't seven. like to show himself then. He likes to make clones and then get them to do things. He can hide very easily. No, he's just a part of a clone. Like, organization. But he's the best clone because he's taken on the oh, so organization. He, you just said he wasn't a clone, yeah. Kirkland. He is a clone. No, he is. What did I say? You said he was the original. Tim the Robbins. Came from no, I said he's the Tim Agent Robbins. 47. <laughs> he's played by Tim Robbins. I didn't say he was the he's agent. By, <laughs> Tim Robbins. Yeah, Tim Robbins makes oh. a guest appearance. What do you guys think? What do you think, Taylor? I know he's bald. Who do you? Who is the bad one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about Agent 47. Who is the bad? I think Lulu's got a pretty good fighting chance here. I mean, a uh, gun's not going to hold up against magic, in my opinion. Really? Good sniper from afar, though. Yeah, you but she can use magic again. from afar. What if she doesn't see him? Yeah. He is a hitman. That is his job. <laughs> his his job is he went to school to become a hitman. No, he didn't go to school. He was bred that way. He was. Just he was bred. He was bred. Was and there then butter? He went to school. What? He was bred. <laughs> there was no <laughs> butter. Only on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah. I can't really find. He loses. Cast time. <laughs> yeah. so, this has gone on too long. Yeah, yeah he's no, no, no chance. Let's just get down to the point. But we know this was going to happen. Agent Forty Seven only had. A, he's like Mario of this round. He only had a select few he could beat. Really? A person that I feel like one bullet is pretty quick. Though. N- not against. There's magic. factors though. That you have there to are take factors, them all. but I feel like it. I don't know. One bullet. You gotta like have your time to aim. You know, if you miss, reload. You know, there. Are but even then, like, knives. I feel like Pull out you a just knife. you just whip out your gun. You shoot. Even if you miss once, that's fine. You just shoot a bunch of times. I feel like that might be quicker than. Um, I don't know can't she exactly just, like, how. Sh- 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 with well, I don't know. How exactly does she do her magic? Yeah, I, like I said, I tried like, to find cast. Ra- time. What is a rough <laughs> oh, cast no. time? She. It's quick. It's not like. Quicker than it's bullet? not like Taylor, where you have to like summon things and wait for the clouds <laughs> to come and. <laughs> that's how lightning it comes. It depends on the that's about <laughs> <laughs> how lightning comes. 
be funny. It'd be like really sad in a game. You're like trying to attack an enemy, and all of a sudden you gotta wait for the clouds. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's not it's not raining, so I can't use my powers. I can't use my powers. Just doing some fact checking. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to find some. Just uh, just here. uh, we wanna. We want to be sure on our pick here. It's very important. It is very important. This is the life or death of Agent 47 here. We're talking about a character <laughs> that could die. What do you mean the original? Like, Agent I mean, he's, he's not the first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, he's not Agent 1. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it was really awkward for that guy that was Agent, Agent like, 007? 007. I guess mean? he was just 7, right? Do you think he was like putting the two zeros in front of his name? Well, maybe, maybe I don't know. <laughs> Maybe James that, Bond. That's a question is. beyond my knowledge. Yeah. I'm unfortunate. Some people think every James Bond is a different guy. It's not the same James Bond. Okay, it's so it's like, time. bam. You mean bam, like a new bam, James Bond? Bam, every James Bond you know, is a new number. Actors. Wait, is no, no, a new dragon. Guy. No, they that's her attacking the, the dragon. <laughs> okay. double seven James oh, Bond. that's <laughs> tricky though. Because there's some people that show that Sean Connery is Daniel Craig's dad. Bastion Martin, he just happens to get it. Skyfall, his dad. And then he says his father worked for, like, MI6 and whatnot, there's all these little clues about Sean Connery. That's weird, though. Right, because there was a 008. Was. What? There was a 006 Sean, or 008. Sean, yeah, but that's what I mean. They're so off topic. Sean Bean. We were trying to wait. You guys I'm were probably... No, no, I, 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 I said, 1847 loses. He's not going to beat anybody with magic, Why? period. Because I just... He oh, bullet is quicker. What? Yeah, but she just has to move. She, all, like You said he's a, a trained assassin. He know, he's he not going to against miss. people. <laughs> He's not Batman. It's not like she can <laughs> He hasn't gone up against gods. Like she's, and she's not teleporting around, is she? No. Can she teleport? That's a not valid to my question. But can she just send a lightning bolt at him? I've got the video of like, the attack speed of how fast she goes, but no one is bothered to like... I, s- I think he's losing, so I don't need to watch <laughs> this video. You <laughs> need to convince him. Lulu is my vote. Okay. Okay. Three to whatever. So like, how like that's confirmed. Came that's confirmed. Agent Forty Seven lost. Okay. We just watched a video about the Marcus fight. Marcus Phoenix. Maxwell. Who, who, who is Maxwell? Maxwell? I don't know who Maxwell is. It's from Scribble Mods. I don't that? know. Pretty much, you can just. <laughs> I know what it is. Anything that he wants, any item. He just draws it and it like appears. He just spells it. Yeah. Spells it. He just spells it. Like writes it, like in yeah. like writing. Yeah, you have a little notebook. You write in a notebook. It spawns whatever. That what is. happens like, if like, he dragon loses? And a dragon appears. Yeah. What happens wow. if he loses that notebook? What if he <laughs> spells it wrong? <laughs> what happened to Marcus Phoenix? Chainsaws that. In yeah, that's what I was going. That's what I was going. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. He has to attack the book. <laughs> yeah. And how big is the Scribble Knots guy? Oh, he's just like a regular. Old he's like dude. this. So big. yeah, so like if the notebook is cut in half, can he still write <laughs> on each okay. side? Uh, he doesn't actually walk around with a notebook, so I think it's in his head. It's an imagination thing. Okay, so, so what if? What so if it's he not real. The wrong? book. It's all in his head. Apparently. So what happens mm-hmm. if Murphy's cracks open his skull and like rips his? <laughs> no, I have. Apart. I have the more important question. What if he spells something wrong? <laughs> like, instead of spelling like dragon, he spells like. I dragoon. get very violent. Then he uh, spawns a dragoon. It would, spell, it would spawn a dragoon. Yeah. So if he, <laughs> okay. Dragoons. <laughs> dragoon. It was a warrior on a on a on a uh, on a horse. So it is yeah. a thing. A British uh, yeah. British warrior yeah, on a horseback. Yeah. A dragoon is a thing. So he would just spawn that. I feel like by the yeah. time he drew it and got it out there, Marcus Phoenix be sawing his hand off. Yeah, how soon he's is gone up here? He's gone up against how way too much fucked you, up shit. How long does it take you to write the word dragon down? Or think of the word but dragon. But like, if that dragon's still around, he just What if Marcus Phoenix has a gun, though? Yeah, that's what he gets. As he's so like, trying to write down. With the like, chainsaw on. So you're best. Okay, let's talk about gone up against you're saying, since he has a gun, he instantly has the aim and he's shooting at the guy. How is this different than the logic of the last fight? Because it's not magic. It is magic. It is magic. How is somebody things out of thin air not magic because uh, agent the reason i give he could some a thunder strike and he could be hitting him instantly the reason, literally the exact same fight so he wins by default the reason i mm-hmm. give phoenix more credit is because he's seen a lot of shit and he's gone up against like when you say oh you can boo a dragon like he's fighting like huge monsters like that all the time agent 47 just hits like i don't know some guy that didn't play his welfare check like where marcus <laughs> phoenix has gone up against a bad lot example. of bad <laughs> shit but, like he could also he could also, <laughs> just, he could also just summon a building and drop it on his head but Marcus could move, and what you can't thing. move if he, he can roll. I guess he has Phoenix great is rolling is abilities. <laughs> yeah, he does. And Marcus Phoenix is me yeah, eaten by a worm that eats say, buildings. Are you Marcus actually trying jump. to? Are you actually trying? He's, he's ground locked. Are you actually trying to say that if a building was spawned on his head, he would be fine? <laughs> he would roll. I would. I don't. <laughs> That is, 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 that is massive bias, and I don't even want to talk to Taylor right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely stupid. But then you just pick God. He could. He could summon. He can. You can spawn God. But then why'd you pick God? <laughs> He's gonna beat anybody then. 
That's not a good fight. All over again. Yeah, you didn't want the apple eaten. It's that's what he has. He has a book. That's a book of Eden. <laughs> that's what this is. You're telling me you can defeat anybody. So he's actually running Literally, it down. no one is on my side. So clearly, no, I am I'm on, on your side. side. So I'm in the middle. Wait, now you're saying we're running it down again. So is he running it down, or is it in his head that he? Well, you write it down as the player. I, I mean, but that's what you need to. You need to find like Jessica. Like, does he actually have to write it down, or does it just appear in his head? Because if he has to write it down or draw the dragon, I'm picking Marcus Phoenix. He's gonna get to him by the time he draws it, like an actual fully. No, no, you don't. You don't draw. You don't write. Right, right. He writes the red dragon. You just write. See, I think if he sees Marcus Phoenix coming on with a full-on fucking chainsaw gun, he's gonna start like fucking like not being able to write properly. He's yeah, but Marcus, Marcus Phoenix is so slow. I don't know. They, they run. No, not fast. when he runs. He yeah, hooks he's it. slow, and he can't. That jump. HD angle. Okay, all he would have to do is like write fence, and then Marcus is <laughs> we'll stuck. Burst he through can't it. Run. No, he's yeah. ground locked. He can't. Yeah, he can't. Off no. his teeth, but he'll <laughs> roll through it. He, no, he he's ground locked, and like there's so many times in the game. You can roll in the game. There's so many times in the game where you come up to a fucking box, and you're like, oh, I can't fucking jump over it. You I roll can't to the right, roll to the left. You're in cover. You just gotta be more skilled, Marcus Phoenix. Yeah, but it's okay. It's a fence. He can't hide behind a fence, and I'm not. But yeah, but when you go to the there. fence, you hold A, and then he climbs over the fence. Oh, the boom. no! Not all fences, like boxes that are like, you know, knee height. Not anything that was actually helpful. But that's like yeah, game. but that's like for Maxwell though, he could just like write out like pool with no exit, <laughs> just like in The Sims. When you kill your Sims, you just take out the exits, and then they drown. <laughs> yeah. How does he get out of that if he can't jump? Yeah, there how, you go. How does he know where the pool would he go, though? He just lay on his back. Does he, like... <laughs> like, if he writes pool, <laughs> where does the pool one. appear? He's, he's like, ammo to weigh him down, though. Um, well... Does it appear just in front of him? Because then Marcus Phoenix could just keep avoiding it. I am curious as to how these things appear, because I've never played this game. Well, pretty much, you write down the word, mm -hmm. and then it's on your stylus, and you drop it down. <laughs> oh! So there's a third player. But it's... <laughs> but he's but, not! But... but, but <laughs> So you said he can do anything. It's is the apple well, over. He can do anything. It's you really said he can though. make a pool. He can do a building. Like that's any. He could. So you said he could, you quote said he could summon God. Yeah, but the thing, but the God that you summon in the game isn't like this uh, omniscient thing that just controls everything. It's just like this guy. Who but you you said his example is an attack against Marcus Phoenix. Yeah, well, it'd still be a valid attack because it's summon this dude that shoots lightning at him. But but then, yeah. okay, but then Very you, true. but Very you true. just. <laughs> You said at first you said he could do the fight, and then you said, "Oh, it's not this unholy god with a bunch of powers." But he could still like, f like, is the god powerful or not powerful? Yeah, I feel like Maxwell is just super overstacked. Like he sounds like he can do anything. Okay, so then so why are you trying to say that yeah. Marcus Phoenix is? Gonna you guys win? are trying what? to come up with arguments. No, you guys are just talking about if he's running and there's speed. I'm not talking about if he wins. Like he loses, obviously, <laughs> but like. He can roll, and you guys are talking like, he can oh, roll. Roll. <laughs> like if you're if you're putting roll. the character in a real world, that's where you didn't put the like we didn't talk if you're about the, the character in a real world. None of them can do anything because there's no no one controlling them. No, exactly. So but like we're taking the characters out of the, no, but we're taking the characters and using their AI. Like that's what I mean. Because then if we're talking about that control, then none of these fights happen. They just stand there. Yeah. So th that's the same thing. So your point's invalid there. You well, have to control scribble I'm saying right? no purpose of doing any of this if, if you're going well, by that logic. No, no but I'm just saying, in the environment, you're saying, like, he could not jump over fence and gears, but what does that say he can't do in another game? Like, and he can, like he said. And if it's a little wooden fence, I don't think this guy who weighs, like, 500 pounds of armor <laughs> can't just bust through it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the, there's no logic in it. Like, oh, a wood fence would stop him. Yes, a pool could, or a building, but yeah, a Yeah, but fence. no, because you guys are starting to take it too far, because then who's to say that Lulu can learn to teleport, because she can learn black magic? What? So I but mean, we just take their abilities. We see him. Yeah, she has jump the ability to in the learn game. We see no, Marcus see jump him. over walls and and other fences in the game. Not like, like we're not talking about like yeah, you're not the talking, boxes and stuff. You're like, talking about something that's short and thin that he can slide over. He never jumps and he never takes items out by running into them. You're if you're gonna fight a character, you he have takes to items out. Like you can sometimes you like go up and you kick and smash through um, doors, door. and you chainsaw through uh, walls and stuff like that. I just think you have to take it for what the character's ability is, not what it could be, because any anything could be unlimited, right? But we've already said he lost. We're just discussing Marcus Phoenix versus as a fence right now. <laughs> like that's all. Which it's he happening. could chainsaw through. Put and he can chainsaw through. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> if we have to limit to the game things, then yeah, then like. That's what I mean. I feel like we're putting them in an arena. I feel like he could chain... Because the game... Because the designers or developers were too lazy to make him chain to, saw through a fence. I still feel like he could do that. You don't feel like if someone put a fence there, he just can't do it. He uses chainsaw and nothing happens. 
That's what I mean. There's realistic boundaries. Yeah, a magic person can't lose all these new but spells. Then, uh, but, but, but your argument was then, well, kind of like Maxwell can't use his writing ability because... He no, I'm just saying this that. is like the Apple Veen all over again. He can just beat anybody. I don't think he could. But who? If you take even like Corvo, he could just teleport around and Very destroy true. him. But on this list, and, who can he beat? Lula, like who could beat him? Lula I don't know. I'd have to look through the list, right? but I don't think he's Jack unbeatable. Blitz. Even Sonic, I don't think. I think Sonic could beat this <laughs> guy. Yeah. But I, I don't because you guys just make it sound like it's in his mind and something appears. So then Sonic yeah, could just well, run into like a, like what is like a spinning saw, and then Sonic is yeah. gone. So that's what you you guys told us that like it can just appear. Like he get you because we said, does he have to write anything down? No, it's just in his mind. So if he just thinks it, it's well. There. That's because you were kind of asking how he writes it down, but he doesn't. That's because you're the player who does that. But that's so. That's what I mean. If you're talking about in the game character again, if we're bringing that, then in, in the game it just appears in his mind. Well, and the thing happens. He still has to think about like the way I feel is he still has to think about writing it the same way a player would. So like in my mind, it'd have to be like dragon uh, d r a g o n, and then it would appear. So but I still think Marcus has a little time to shoot him then. It doesn't just appear then if he has to write it. That's still like he has to spell it, and he still has a time to get a bullet. And what, can he write and move at the same time? Um, I guess not, no. Well, then he stands still, and Marcus just has to shoot a bullet and it goes through him? Sure. He's 2D. It'd go, it'd miss. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a good point. <laughs> that is a good point, actually. It's like Paper Mario. I don't, I don't think that we should use that as an argument, because 2D would beat anything, because that would be OP. <laughs> yeah, like Mr. Game Watch. Yeah. That's it's up to you three to decide. That's where the chainsaw like, comes in. I just I don't see how that logic is any different from the last fight we had. Which way? How he could if he could instantly shoot, then how would he not beat the main? Because you the said he has to stand still while he writes. Where she can move around all over. She can run. She can barrel roll. She can do this. But if he has to write and stand stand still, that means either he's on the move and nothing can appear, or he has to stand still enough time to get a shot. My thing was Hitman couldn't get a shot at her. Some way she's gonna block it. But if he can't do anything while he's standing still, that's where I think Marcus Fierce could get him. That's the thing. He has nothing blocking him. He still has to write it out. And he still has to go D, R, A, and then pfft. Right. Brains. Yeah, I agree. If you guys pick, that's fine. No, I, I'm on your I'm side. I'm with Marcus Phoenix when, like, if he doesn't move, I, I'm he has a shot. Yeah, dude, I'm on your side. Uh, I, I still say Maxwell. It doesn't take me that long to write. Like, it's not like D, R, A. I, I think Marcus Phoenix is, he's But is he just standing he there, though? He, all he does, like, once again, this has nothing to do with the fence or anything. All he has to do is raise his arm. Can Maxwell, like, See, well, get so, weapons? Yeah, but, so are we saying yeah, that, that this battle starts yeah, out, like, like, they're facing can, each other? Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's like a gun. I don't know. Then you get to shoot him. What does he write with? Does he have, like, a... No, he doesn't write anything. Remember, it's in his head. Yeah, yeah he just oh. thinks, thinks the player is the one who... He uses the Nintendo the DS stylus. That's what he uses. The DS stylus. Is that what it's on? Yeah. We. Yeah. Okay. Well, Actually, there's one on the computer, too, so you would type it, I guess. So it depends on your typing ability, apparently. Hmm. I'm kidding. Well, I, I don't know. I just okay. think if <laughs> that was a great game. I don't think you're gonna start out just like facing each other, and I think by the time I just I, I still don't understand um, how you can use that logic, but then not say Agent Forty Seven was the last fight. Because like I said, she I moves really, around. Well, I don't, she, she can like move. I, just like you're making it sound like he's never shot a gun at that point. Who? He's a hitman. He knows. Oh, I'm gonna. But she has a defense against it. I don't feel. I like don't it, think she does. I feel like she, she does. She has no way to play bullets. That, I don't know. But she can move. Screamlots can't move while he's writing. That's my that's my hang up. If he if his only attack is to write and put See, something in his mind, get then, out there. Then it starts out like where do they start out? Like are they on standing face to face? Because in that case, then yeah, obviously. Well, that's what I mean. That happens in any fight. Because then the last fight, we could say Hitman gets to be in Perch Tower with the sniper. Yeah, and, then and that could change it up. That changes like well, I say we have to start with like it's a boxing thing of like three, two, one fight. Like they can't be in like oh someone's behind a corner and like Marcus Venus is driving and is like whatever the vehicle is. I I still go with the scribble knot. Uh, I just I think the ability to be able to summon things at will is just you're gonna win. Okay. Um, All right. Phoenix. One for scribble knot. One for Phoenix. I'll be the judge. I here. mean, you start out, you start <laughs> out three, two, one. You know, right wall, and then a brick wall falls down. I mean, and then what? And then he summons something else. I mean, it, if you're by the time that it takes you to get up and aim, I mean, you could. It's not that quick if you have Marcus Venus, who's this highly trained soldier. It's not like He's so old grandma. And slow. But the, the 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 gun is just an arm. That's all it takes to scope. Is it? Plus, they just blind fire. He's just standing there. You go. Phew. Is he? Uh, is there a recharge time before you can summon things? Um, or can he just constantly be... No, you can keep summoning things. No. There's no cooldown. Just as quick as you can type yeah. and move your thing around. Yeah. Alrighty. What are you on? 
Well, this is exactly like the Apple of Eden. So, I mean... <laughs> it's really not, though, I don't think. Well, I feel like it is. Because Apple just, of like, Eden, you just say, like, summon... kill, and then everything around you is dead. But he can just yeah. drop a building of Mark Phoenix, and that's, like, kill. But, well, that's... You just spent ten minutes debating against how that wouldn't work, because but, you can shoot him. But you guys said it would work, so if it does work, then... You could just that's drop an entire stadium on them, and it's just like, just votes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's move along. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with. I want to say Marcus Phoenix. I know you do. Yeah, I want to go with him, but I mean, if he if he can do all that stuff, uh, I'll just. What go do you? With Phoenix. What, what about uh, Travis's points that he just made? You don't think that warrants? I think just no. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Like, because if he's writing and he can't move, he's gonna die. Like it all depends. I feel like on that first one, like if it, like, because I feel like the fight could end so fast if Marcus could just shoot him. But yeah. like if he can just call down like a wall, walls in front of them, and then he can just plan out, do whatever he wants. Yeah. But it's like it we comes to, down we to that. To test this. Like, we need someone with an airsoft gun. Pull it here, <laughs> and someone with a book, and then like Yo, you, you, have you to be the guy out. with the book, and I'll be the guy with the BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's keep moving. This has right. been like 20 minutes discussing this one. Well, maybe the other ones will be a minute. Sonic? It's Kirby. Well, let's okay, get let's Smash. Yeah, I was going to say, let's bust out <laughs> Smash. Okay, well, Kirby eats Sonic, and Kirby wins. Sonic's too fast. Kirby can't eat him. Well, he's got to he come close enough to attack though? at some point. Doesn't he just suck Kirby him? Kirby can't. And then I feel like Sonic's pretty fast, in. though. I feel like he wouldn't get caught up in that kind of thing. You don't think so? No. Well, that's our fans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got our first caller. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, what would you like to put in about the fight between Sonic and Kirby? Oh, you think Kirby? Sonic would win? Yeah. <laughs> but after Any interesting points. After Kirby one? sucks up Sonic, what happens then? Is it just? He well, dies? I guess it depends on what Kirby you're going for. Because I mean, like TV Kirby, he just eats everything. But like Smash Kirby, he steals the power and spits it back out. When he eats everything, does do they die? Well, they go into his stomach to be digested. Okay. Like things that get eaten. But I think he's too fast to get sucked up. I think Sonic's a little too, a little too quick. Yeah, a little too nimble. Because even then, like Kirby's <laughs> um, ability, to, it's it's uh, takes some time. You, know, you actually, it's like a wind tunnel, pretty much, right? Yeah. So when we talk about Sonic, we're talking about Sonic with the Chaos Emerald, because that's like another Apple of Eden thing. Because if he has those, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Sonic. Fine. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I don't know too much about Kirby other than he just eats everything, mm. and he flies around. Yeah, he Sonic can can't fly. But then again, that, that, that goes back to are you talking like Smash Kirby or Show Kirby? Because in the show, he like he can puff up and fly. But so what do you mean? The well, show? we're not. Let, let's not talk Smash because then we can they but, balance them. All but the we can't talk about the show that either because that's TV. Are you talking about TV? Okay, show? Okay, so then video game. So then Kirby can still jump forever, right? Uh, forever. Not in, the video video game. Game. in the video games. Yeah, yeah. you just like yeah, it was like that. <laughs> yeah, well, you could do what's the one uh, where you like ate the different crystals. Uh, anyone know? NCC I've only played four. one of them, and it was not that one. I played two. Okay, the, there's one in N64 where basically you can eat different like crystals, and so there's like fire crystals, uh, ice crystals, and then you can start to mix them to like make yourself more powerful. So if you ate like um, two ice crystals, you become even more powerful with ice, or two fire crystals, you become even more powerful with fire, or you can mix like fire and earth crystals and then become like lava. That's similar mm -hmm. to the Chaos Emerald thing, though. Because he's using like something mm -hmm. else, right? Right. I'd agree yeah, with okay. that. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like a second. It's like a resource that he uses. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're just gonna say Sonic's just gonna like run around Kirby, hit him from behind, and then run around and hit him from behind again, and that's. I don't. I don't. Because I mean, what? I feel what like Kirby has the upper hand. I feel like Kirby has the upper hand because he can just flop mm -hmm. around forever. Yeah, and that's true. Sonic, can't really get to Sonic him. is yeah. when he can jump up while he's yeah, he jumps really up. He just goes. He sucks them up. Oh. But can he suck things in the air? Yeah, no, that's yeah. what he does. Yeah, he it's like a vacuum, isn't it? But it takes, it, it takes a certain amount of time, though, right? So Sonic could just, like, dodge it really quick because he's so but fast. But if you see him coming in, in the air, he doesn't really yeah, Kirby in, doesn't in see air. where he's coming from, though. In the air, he's not going to have enough time to change direction. But Kirby doesn't see where Sonic's coming from, though. You can see a blue streak well, let's, let's, Okay, let's be really <laughs> yeah, true. If, true. Let's say that situation is happening, because that's I think that that's pretty logical. Kirby would fly away. Would the speed at which Sonic is moving just sh shatter Kirby and kill him instantly? Isn't he just uh, like a cloud? Well, as soon as, as, <laughs> soon as Kirby die? starts to suck, he drops. Yeah, he can die. So, I mean, you like could almost power. have it that he would miss, where Kirby would start to suck and Sonic would go over top kind of thing. If you're giving it that Kirby had enough time to see Sonic coming, 
I mean, if Sonic's moving fast enough, then yeah, you would just hit into Kirby, but if Kirby had enough time to see it, then by the time he starts sucking, he would fall, and Sonic would go over top. That's what I would think. But then, in that, as he's falling, it would be a split second that he misses and hits there, and he'd instantly be going back as Kirby's still falling to hit him. So... How much damage does this do, Sonic's attack? KO. One shot? KO. One shot KO? KO. 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 Or no. <laughs> So, but I mean, even if you're doing it, what, that, that he eats them? Or, like... I think, I, I think Kirby has the advantage, in really? my opinion. Why? Because, like I said, he just has that aerial threat, and, like, I don't... But that's the thing, like, that, that's the running away debate, right? Yeah, but he just floats, like, over, yeah. above, and then, I don't know, Son if, if, Sonic, if Sonic jumps up, you can just eat him, I feel. But as soon as or he no. starts sucking, he starts falling, right? But he still has yeah, that vacuum you, you effect. Could, you could like, 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 if you look at it, if he jumps here and Kirby's here and he starts sucking, and then he starts to fall. Yeah, but it, like, like, like I said, it's like a vacuum effect. You would get pulled into him. You, he's going too you, you fast could, to get sucked in the vacuum. You plan it out, though. I mean, at some point, you got to start to, you know, be able to figure out your trajectory. Be well, like, by that time, Kirby could be dead. No, it's not just... Because when you fall, you can still move, can't you? You can direct where you're falling. So if he started sucking... And then move to the left if Sonic's coming from the right, and then hit him on the way down. What do you think, Travis? I think Kirby wins. I feel like Why? Kirby wins. Because I feel like the only person that could be Kirby is someone with like a projectile. I think if you get too close to Kirby, that's where it's over. And unfortunately, Sonic doesn't have weapons. You don't think so. his speed would keep him? Safe? No, Why I don't not? think so. Because it's one of those things where he just runs away forever. Right? Yeah. It's I I just well, like anybody with close contact because you're using lost. the argument of Kirby flying away, but that's. The same well, thing. no, I mean, like he's not flying away. He's just he's he's taking the aerial threat, so he can attack him from above. Whereas Sonic, all he can do is run, and his only weapon is to like literally just like tackle him. And at that time, I feel like when he's tackling him, Kirby could just eat him. I could be wrong though. But I, I think Sonic's moving pretty fast. I feel like it would rip right through Kirby. You think? I don't, I, I, I I don't know how Kirby works. If, I, if I feel like he's a black hole. As soon as you just mm -hmm. go in there, everything yeah. disappears. Like, most of the games that you play for Kirby, like, you take on the ability of what you eat. So if you're going to say it that way, then by the time that Kirby eats Sonic and takes on his power, then it becomes Sonic versus someone who has a slightly less ability of Sonic, in which case Sonic's going to win. Because when Kirby transforms, he doesn't take on well, full abilities. No, because Kirby would, like, if you eat someone in, the, in Kirby's games, they die, right? In Smash, you take their See, ability, but we're not talking about Smash characters. We're talking well, about that's the what I'm saying. Like the one that I played, you take on the crystal of whatever you eat, which would be the same thing as taking the abilities. So I mean, it all the if you're, which is the one that I played the most as a kid. So, mm. um, if you look at it that way, I don't know. If you think that it's just going to get digested, then I would say Kirby. If you're doing that, Kirby gets some of the power and then you know spits it back out. I think Sonic. So. I think Kirby still. I'd go Kirby. I just feel like a projectile needs to take Kirby down. Yeah. Sonic. Because, I mean, it, talking that way, I mean, Sonic could technically be a projectile going that fast, right? I just feel like Straight at him. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. I feel like with him doing that, he makes himself so vulnerable yeah. to It'll just get up. eaten by Kirby. But like I said. Yeah, but, you know, maybe he's going so fast that when he sucks <clears throat> up, it actually, like goes way too hard from the vacuum and the speed at the same time. Just goes right out of his back. That's not the big blade. The big bang. Like yeah, I get what you're saying. I just feel like we don't have any, unfortunately, like logic. In a situation like that, I don't even know how, like Kirby would die though, because obviously there's no food. nervous tissue going on. Yeah. No heart. <laughs> I thought he like was a cloud, ball. honestly. <laughs> so we're giving it to. I guess that's yeah. kind We've of a tie. We've seen how Sonic can die. How is it a tie? Well, because you Kirby, it would Sonic Kirby Kirby. I said either or, depending on what I kind. I said Sonic. So it's a tie. So you're the tiebreaker. Um, oh yeah, you have to be the tiebreaker. I have to actually be the tiebreaker. Yeah, yep. A tie. Well, we didn't even decide on the last one. Yeah, we did. The stone walked whatever Maxwell. guy Maxwell won. No, the other guy won. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I yeah. thought Maxwell won. Well, I, I thought Maxwell, Maxwell won. Or not Maxwell, yeah. Marcus. See, we didn't actually decide on the last one, so as far Maxwell as I won did. the last one. No, I, th I think Marcus did. You didn't pick Maxwell. I mean, you did. I picked Marcus, but I thought I thought Maxwell won. I thought everyone was going for yeah, Maxwell. Yeah, me too. We picked Marcus, but you guys <laughs> picked Maxwell, I thought. I didn't. Okay, let's... <laughs> Maxwell wins, and then who wins this one? I, I say it's situational. It really... It depends on what Kirby does. 
I mean... Alright, they put it in the Deadliest Warrior Thousand Simulator. Who wins the most? Uh, <laughs> Dude, I totally forgot about that show. The show was a shit. They made it into a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anyways, not a good game. I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm like gonna go, I'll go with, with one-hit combos. I'll go with Kirby. <laughs> Alrighty. Kirby wins. Spyro. Where's Donkey Kong? Ooh. Some Skylanders. Yeah, they're on the same yeah. game. Too. Are they actually in Skylanders? Yeah. put Donkey Kong on Skylanders. Oh, cool. And, and Bowser. Bowser. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I think Spyro, Aerial Attack, Shoe Fire. fire. <laughs> yeah. Donkey Kong doesn't I'm have not, much. Not like the first game. What? Got to, it depends on the game. First game, all Too he could do was like fire. ram his head into things. Oh, no, he just fired, does he? In the I first thought one? he shot fire in the first one. I'll fact check it, but I thought he shot fire. I thought he did. Too. I, thought he did pretty I, I thought he got different breaths. Like he could Donkey get like Kong, the ice. Yeah. He, he survived. Oh, so he survived for And then lightning. Is uh, that later game? So he's mm-hmm. going to light his hair on fire. <laughs> he doesn't have much hair. Like he has. He'll lose it. All his trees that he would use for like. Advantage, burnt down. He'll put Spyro in a barrel and then throw the barrel. Mm. I don't think he'll catch Spyro. Is that his weapons, just barrels? I think so. Well, and his he, has he has bazookas. Oh, His coconut gun can fire in spurts. And <laughs> if it shoots you, it's going to hurt. It's bonus. gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the DK wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys forgot about the coconut gun that fires in spurts. It's like, come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> can you find out if it was the first one that he had? That's what I'm looking but yeah, no I need one. I need to get a refresher on Spyro's powers before I can make a good decision here. Because I mean, if we're going with like the DK more has recent grenades. games, he has he has bazooka. Is that like the more recent games? That was DK sixty four. Okay, tried and true. Okay, tried and true. <laughs> he can throw twenty grenades. That is true. Second. I might have to lean towards DK now, even though I didn't didn't know he's much pretty about resilient. Him. He's strong. He is strong. He's bigger, better, and he's stronger too. Yes. Not only that, he's the first member of the DK group. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important part. He's the leader of breathe the DK Breathe fire. Group. You can breathe fire. Game I think. Play. But that's the limited fire. range, though. What? Pretty limited range. But Don Kong still has to get to him, and where he's throwing barrels no. or not, I feel like... No, but he's got the position, too. What? He yeah. has a coconut gun that can fire in spurts. But he has wings. He can fly <laughs> and get a con- He's not going to be <laughs> like... Spyro. Spyro's not that fast, though. <laughs> what? He's... He's pretty smart. How do you know? You don't even know. He doesn't really fly. fly. He I, falls I in style. style. I just couldn't <laughs> remember his ability. Spyro spirit. falls in style? He like, doesn't he glide? Yeah, he can glide. He doesn't really glide. He, he, can't, right? he can't fly, yeah. Coconut he can gun glide. and grenades. So it shoots coconuts, he has right? Grenades. Co- it shoots coconuts, <laughs> It shoots right? in spurts. It's a coconut gun. <laughs> okay, so couldn't Spyro like, just fire. like light them on fire? <laughs> <laughs> He could just light them on fire and they'd melt as they're coming towards him. What? Coconuts don't melt? Alright, that's fine. How about orange Orange grenades. Orange grenades? Orange grenades. They're oranges and they explode. They're oranges that explode. And they <laughs> like the game a little So crazy. couldn't he eat them and get that vitamin vitamin D or whatever? <laughs> if he eats an orange grenade, he is dead. I can't get over this. This is the way. I gotta go with DK just with this guy. This <laughs> guy is backing him up so but well. But if he, if he goes down low and like lights Donkey Kong on fire, then those orange grenades are gonna get lit and they're gonna blow him up. <laughs> Flight okay. is one of Spyro's I unique know. abilities in the Spyro series. Being a dragon, he is able to fly freely using his wings. Yeah. No, that's later games. What? The first but game it says the series. Glide. But then, did he have all those stuff in the first game, Donkey Kong? In the very first game, does Donkey Kong have a bazooka, and does he have all these weapons you're talking about? That's what I said he before. He just jumps um, in barrels. That's all he Because if he just jumps, then Spyro has it. In the first DK game, he can't die, so I don't think you want to go with that argument. <laughs> what do you mean he can't <laughs> die? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he can't die? <laughs> he just hangs out on his tower, you can knock him down, he'll get right back up. <laughs> He's g- but you die as a game character, don't you? <laughs> like, you uh, fall, right? The first DK game is when he's at the top of the tower throwing barrels at Mario. He's going that is the first DK game. Oh my god, well, I totally wasn't thinking about that. That's the yeah, first Donkey Kong. I'm talking about the first one in Donkey Kong. That Donkey Kong franchise. can't move, so Kate, he just... Yeah. Oh, he does? On, on fire. He climbs up at the very beginning, remember? Oh, that's how he climbs. <laughs> um, but I... I don't think I think what I what I was saying is not that he can't fly. I was saying that he's still pretty slow, and I think Donkey Kong they're pretty slow. They're both kind of slow. They're both slower characters. But that's so I don't think speed would really come into the fight. But then are we talking about Donkey Kong the first game or what? I thought you were talking about N sixty four. We're talking about Donkey Kong from the DK crew, Donkey <laughs> Kong sixty four, the tried and true. I still I I'm still picking Spyro. I feel like he can block it. I feel like he has the fire. Block what? And like not block like but grenades like, so you can block grenades. he like what is it he dodge yeah, and I feel like movies. Donkey Kong is not the smartest character in the Nintendo universe like, I feel like he's one of the dumber ones yeah so, but he's bigger Fire's not the Batman he's the badder universe, though. He's no but like I'm not saying he's gonna think of it I'm saying Donkey Kong's that dumb that he's not gonna Spyro's kinda hard to control when he starts going fast though 
but that's for mm. his advantage, I think. I think it's gonna be harder to hit because if he does, if Spyro doesn't even know where he's going, <laughs> where's Donkey Kong gonna know? Very true. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that point, I guess. Um, well, you're not taking into account that he's bigger, he's better, and he's stronger too. The hair, though, it's not like with me and skin. Like, oh, it's gonna burn me a bit, but he's gonna catch on fire and it's gonna spread his whole body, and he's gonna be running around crazy. And then in that time, Spyro will come down with sharp teeth and rip his throat out. <laughs> like, I, th- I, I, I think Donkey Kong doesn't have it on this one. I don't. I feel. I feel graphic. like. Oh, yeah. What's <laughs> I feel like if this was Kirby once again, because they both could fly, there's a little playing field, but I feel like fire, which is definitely a monkey's... Yeah, but his fire has pretty limited range. But he can just fly right by him, and all it takes is one hit. He, Donkey Kong could easily grab onto him if he swoops down. I don't think so. I think just he's one hand, fast. he could. He, he could, he could he's but he could also he's, he's better and he's stronger, too. He can also <laughs> fire... Yeah, he, he, can, he can fire and spurt. So. If he yeah. gets grabbed onto, he just has to put his teeth right into Donkey yeah. Kong's arm. And if he grabs he him, he's fine with that. He can take. But that. if he grabs him, there's a the fireball again. And if he lights on fire with all that hair, he's gonna freak out. He's not just gonna stand there like a badass. Okay, if, if he gets <laughs> grabbed in the air, he's not just gonna sit there and hold him in there. He's gonna like slam him. Donkey to the ground. Kong might though. I don't trust neck. him. He can just <laughs> he can snap <laughs> his neck in one. He could, but he has to catch yeah. Spyro. Yeah. I'm going with Donkey seen... Kong on But by the time he grabs him by the tail oh. to snap his neck, that fire is like that. all over. I just feel like he's not going to catch him. I feel like it's the Kirby thing again where I feel like Spyro's going to stay up where he no, can't get him. No, he... And then he Spyro, Spyro's pretty sluggish. You have to admit that, Travis. I don't... He's stubby. I don't think so. He's I, stubby. I, I, I don't remember him is. ever flying, like, just 100%. I remember him, like, he could fly and then, like, glide down. I'm just going off his Skylander Wikipedia right. page. Who are we picking? Uh, Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. So. I pick uh, uh, Spyro. Yeah, I'm with you. You yeah. guys are on the losing team. Yeah. <laughs> I don't appreciate your uh, yeah. your participation, yeah. though. Pyramid Head, I don't know who that is. You ain't Prince of Persia. Uh, All right. Prince of Persia. Persia. What does Prince of Persia have? Who's Pyramid uh, Head? <laughs> Pyramid Head. You, you can go ahead with Pyramid Head. First. Um, the only way Pyramid Head dies, really, is by killing himself. Who? Well, who? I, what I know <laughs> who this is. Like, who he is... is Silent from? Hill. He is, he's like a supernatural character. Uh, oh, so is this no. another apple of Eden? No, he's uh, no. He can only die by you, killing him. You can damn it. Well, it's because the only way. He okay, no. Prince of Persia's got this. Okay, Prince of Persia can like freeze, stop, and like rewind oh, time. Shit. That's so a good he, point. yeah, so you can just like freeze time, go up and like move Pyramid Head to kill himself with his sword, and then unfreeze time, and he'd like mm-hmm. have killed himself and he would die. Snap! I won. Debate over. That's freezing that, time is pretty apple of Eden. I gotta admit. Yeah, but like the whole well, he has like limited, the whole pyramid he has to have the sands of time. The whole pyramid head, like that whole thing is happening while time's like basically stands still. Because in Silent Hills, oh, sh- time's like separate from everything else. Oh my god! So, so now that's irrelevant. I don't think so. Also, pyramid head. No, because in the new okay, based on the Silent Hill movie, not on the game because stats. I haven't <laughs> played the game. Uh, she like gets to like go see her house in like her alternate Silent Hill universe, and like her husband is still living and moving around. So obviously time wasn't frozen. For well, her that's though, because she's dead. Yeah, basically. movies don't kill. Well, I haven't played. To be the fair, games. we are talking about gaming characters here, so we kind of have to. Well, Pyramid Head in the game is a lot more badass than the show. Or actually, the, I don't the know. movies don't count. Remember. I know, that's what I'm saying. In the video yeah, games, I'm just saying what I, uh, All I'm saying is that I was basing that off of what I know. No, I'm saying that to him, too, because he said in the show. I don't know, it is it is tricky, because Prince of Persia, I don't know what his actual name is, but he... Ralph. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Ralph. Ralph, he's very, uh, he's very agile. Is it actually Ralph? Probably not. <laughs> he's very <laughs> agile. I never and, the game, uh, so I <laughs> Pyramid Head, he's he's literally like eight feet tall. He's just a monster. Oh. Like he like he grabs someone, rips their skin off, Jeepers. like right in front of someone, and like that's pretty. That's pretty. He has a sword that's probably bigger than your. I don't want to say bed because no one knows what I'm talking about. It's but it's bed. it's big. It's a big sword. It's bigger than like a six foot tall guy. Oh, okay, he's got a big old sword too. He also has a he also he has, has a spear. A it's called the Great Sword actually. Mm. And uh, he also has like he's just a supernatural being. Like he literally. Takes something and just like is he, sho- he shoves it it's, in it's his just pyramid. Stan, I just need to know. Does he have a body or is he just like a spirit? Yeah, he's he's a well, like he is a spirit, but he takes like not human form, but he okay, has. So a big... he lives in pause time. Yeah. Okay, so then if like sure. you, if, 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 well, like how does it work? Like, like, well, if, like it's it's tricky because his whole being is like wrapped around the guy's like like uh, so okay. like his own thoughts basically. Like the guy's mind makes this creature. So and then either like it, like that's why it's the either antagonist. Either he could like pause time and like well, make him stab himself and he would die, or time continues to going and there ceases to be this fight because he's left in a period of time that's no longer existing. 
What do you mean, sorry? Wait, what? Because if he's stuck in, like, a frozen time, so the Who? fight would... Uh, Pyramid? Pyramid Head? Yeah, so the fight would start, and, like, Prince of Persia could just start time, and then Pyramid Head would cease to be in the fight because he's stuck in that time that is no longer... Yeah, I don't think current. that's what it is. I think he just lives pretty much within, like... He lives the in concept time, of you, A person's concept of time in terms of, like, in their head kind of thing. Okay, so time could still be frozen? Cause it, I cause, guess. Because <laughs> it depends. Well, that's how, you know, the Prince of Persia fights, is through time control. But if so it's you in your to... mind, couldn't you just think... It's not so. in his mind, it's, like, this guy is, it's just like, re- fucked That's up, how it relates like, to memories. time. Mm-hmm. creates this monster that just kills that's everything. So it's materialized out of his mind yeah. into reality. And then when the guy finally gets over his own thoughts, that's when the creature kills himself, because he's killing his negative thoughts in his head. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why it's so tricky with this character. That's I think why Prince I of Persia is all, like, he's, like... I just want to kill things. He could do that. I don't, so I don't think he would think of that, you know. I feel like in, like, like a full-on just, like, one, two, three fight, Prince of Persia has the upper hand because he's so agile, but I feel like if Pyramid Head just gets one grab on him, he's dead, like, instantly. Because he can just, like I said, he literally rips he has a, someone's yeah, but, skin off. Yeah, but if he body. grabs them, then the Prince of Persia can rewind time and then do it again. I don't again. know. He has to hit the thing, right? It's in the dagger? Yeah, it's on the hilt of the dagger, I thought. Well, what happens when he runs out of sands of time or whatever? And then he his can't. Dagger? Yeah, and if he doesn't collect more sand, then Pyramid he head. So, he'd, so well, he'd have, like, five well, like chances said, or whatever to. Mm. Yeah, do it. it's it's a tricky debate because, think, like I said, there's I so no many clue. different factors. <laughs> I'm not leaning one way or the other, I don't know. Because, like. I've yeah. not heard a definitive, like. Because, like. Who would win? I guess I'm leaning more towards Persia because. Oh, uh, Ralph. Uh, yeah, Ralph. Well, yeah, it's Dan? just, it comes down to the thing where it's like, I don't really know how much damage Prince Persia can do. Like, I don't know, because what is, like, I don't really know too much about Prince Persia. He just has yeah, daggers. I d- I d- yeah, I don't really know too much about Pyramid Head, so we're kind of in the same boat here. He's just a, like, he's just it's, um, it's this whole time thing, because you're saying time with him is weird, where the Prince of Persia uses time to fight. So it's kind of hard to... Well, if you, if you just completely ignore that and just take in the the factor that Prince of Persia can just control time. I guess he could has I guess he has a huge advantage because he can just stop time and Pyramid Head's just not moving. It, well is Pyramid Head like fast? Because like if he could fuck over the stand's plan like five times in a row then he can win because you're out of sand. True. Like, like But if the only way to kill him is for him to kill himself then Well no, I'm just anyway. that's the only way he's killed himself. Like that's the only thing that's the only knowledge I have is when that happens. But like like, I don't know. I don't know if 700 swipes with a dagger would kill him. Like, I don't know if you could stab him and you just wouldn't die. Like, I just don't know. So that, it's, it's kind of hard to date. I don't know who wins. <laughs> like I said, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like if Pyramid Head just gets one hand on him, he's dead. But, like, the factor of him just being so agile and just being able to run around him. Like, Pyramid Head, like, he swings this huge thing, but it takes so long because he's just so big and clunky that it's just... Like, Prince of Persia could just dodge it if it comes close, uses Sands of Time. I'll just go Prince of Persia. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just getting blank stares from you guys, so I might as well just go Persia. I think time travel is pretty hard to beat. It is pretty hard to beat. It's a great power. Uh, the only thing that's stopping me is the only way he can die is to kill himself, so, you know. That's the only way he has died. I don't know if it's the only way he can't die. Oh, well, if there's other ways... In the game, you shoot him a couple of times, and he just kind of grunts at you and walks away like a beast, so... Like, in my heart, I'm so biased towards Pyramid Head, but the facts. The facts don't lie. Facts. Like, the facts are hard to just read, honestly. I don't even... It's hard. <laughs> Travis? No, oh, Persia. Persia. Persia? Persia. His name's Ralph, but... <laughs> the stand. We got Falco Lombardi here. Falco? Against Falco Lombardi. <laughs> Against Mordecai. I don't know any of them. Mordecai before. from Borderlands? Yeah. Oh, so, that's a good one. Uh, Mordecai is a sniper, and he has a pet bird named Bloodwing that'll go and attack people to distract them so Mordecai can, like, shoot them. This is actually a pretty even battle, I'd say. Against Falco, who is also a bird. Metal he, legs, gotta, gotta put that into the quail. Yep. He's a quail? Yeah. Okay. Falco? He's not a falcon? Uh, no, he's a... Oh, that is... I don't know if you're fucking with me or not. <laughs> you you kind of look like you're fucking with me. If you Google uh, go- a falcon right now... It doesn't look a thing like Falco. <laughs> if you Google a quail, it looks strikingly like Falco without the metal legs. So this is another battle of a guy with metal legs here, folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, round two. Quail have that little thing like oh dangling on their head. Um, Falco doesn't have that. Falco's pretty agile. I gotta say. They both have guns. He has a reflector. He could fl- reflect bullets. Oh, no. 
I might need Jessica to back me up with this. Yeah. Does Mordecai have just the one gun he uses, or does he have access to all the bazillion oh, guns yeah. in the Borderlands? So I don't know anything about Mordecai. No, technically, well, we, we all look like. Character. I don't even know what he looks like, though. It doesn't matter. He's, he's, just, like, he's just a dude. He's cool. just a sniper. Pretty Good, much. now I know about him. <laughs> Anthropomorphic bird out. character. That's all it says. It doesn't say that he's a Falco or not. Yeah, he's a quail. Okay, um, so this bird is tracks. Well, we've played every other time where you basically would only have like the two starting guns that you would get, which I believe are a pistol and a, and a sniper for him. So. Um. Okay, and yeah. this you get this bird from the beginning. Yeah. How like, how long does the bird like int- uh, whatever intervene while this guy is still alive, or does he stick around you for twenty seconds? No, I mean like uh, once the bird gets down to a few him. Times. It depends what level you are, right? He's, okay. uh, at level one, he's kind of lame. Yeah, but at well, higher, max level, he kind of goes ham. Yeah, at higher levels, he goes out for like a solid minute and like fucks around. That's. I feel like Falco's gonna lose because I feel like he has to put it with that bird, and then this guy's gonna snipe him off. Because, like, unless Falco gets, he like, can, his What are buddies. Falco's powers other than the reflector? What are his powers? Like, what does he do? He has metal legs. He's really fast. He has a laser gun, which is. Just as fast as a sniper. Ooh. Um, he's very quick. He can jump really high. Can't really fly, which is weird because he's a quail. <laughs> but he's pretty quick. He's pretty quick. He can jump like 20 feet in the air. And quails are fast. So. Um, he can reflect the sniper bullets and then shoot lasers back at him. But does but he, he get the bird? The, the bird yeah. can just come and grab his arm so he can't use his reflector. Right? That's the thing I'm caught up on. He could shoot a laser like at the bird. He could dodge the bird. Because that so bird looks... He could probably... He bird. has metal legs. He could kick the bird and it'd probably <laughs> die in one hit. But the bird <laughs> And then you'd have to wait. The bird looks pretty back. stacked. Yeah, the bird from that picture looks pretty stacked. He's like has lots of armor. He looks like he's missing an eye. He's and I just flying dog meat. <laughs> <laughs> dog meat's not that good. Don't give him much credit. Um, I just feel like while he's having to deal with the bird, I don't know how smart is this Mordecai character. He's smart. I'm not even convinced that a bird could catch up with Falco. He also is a bird, and he's very quick. He has but you say he can't fly, though. No, but he can jump like 20 feet in the air and just run around like crazy. And then he has to fall down, and the bird will just wait for him. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, in this, in this point of like dodging the bird, he could shoot lasers at the guy, he could reflect his bullets at him. I think it's too much for him to take on. Is the bird I do. Invulnerable? I don't think he's... Can the bird die? Well, yeah, but then it, you, once your reload comes back, then you can send it out again. I've, and then, like, how trained is this Mordecai person? Well, he's an assassin. That's why he's one of the main characters. He's a vault hunter. I don't think Fal- Falco's no fox. So I don't think he can do it. <laughs> Fal- oh. Falco's no fox. <laughs> I think that was the mic drop right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a reason he's a right. sidekick. End the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I agree. I don't. I think with the bird and the sniper, it's too much. I go Mordecai. I just don't know anything about Falco other than, like, I don't have experience of Falco just kicking. I, ass. I'm <laughs> actually I'm just ripping him out of Smash. I don't know what he's like in his actual yeah. games. But if you're talking about actual games, then he'd have. Does he get around in Assault? Do you see him walking? In Assault, around? he yeah, you can um, play as him in multiplayer. Um, he runs incredibly fast, mm-hmm. really fast. Oh, yeah. um, that's interesting. That's Almost the like he has metal legs or something. That. <laughs> so he said he what? That's the only perk he really has. Like, oh. Slippy in the salt roll walks really slow, and he can. Oh. Falco is like. <laughs> what perk does Slippy even have? He just goes slow. <laughs> that's, has his perk. that's not a perk. That's only perk. Slippy's like the slow, slow but sure. I don't know, I haven't played for a while. <laughs> okay. So, Mordecai. Right, yeah, Mordecai wins. Mordecai. Let's run, move this along. Mega Man? Tiber Septum? Oh, wow. I don't know who that is. Me either. You don't know who Tiber Septum is? No. no. Do you, Kirkland? I do. It's okay. from Skyrim. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Uh, so Mega Man only fights in computers. <laughs> Let's get that out oh. of the way. <laughs> wow, that's actually an computers amazing point. Exist in because he's wow. not a physical being, right? He's just a computer. Program. So technically, man. is he like in Mega Man circuits, like fucking him up? Yeah, but they do some funky things in the other scrolls, man. Hyper Septum, you could just shout at the computer screen. <laughs> it's better than Falcon Punch. Okay, wait. So this guy sounds pretty. I feel like already. we should Hyper Septum. <laughs> he's. Okay, he's like a mid- he's like uh, just picture like a Viking soldier. So he's just okay. a big dude like that. Um, shouts. Uh, it's basically the equivalent to a dragon, like shoot, like shooting fire. Like okay. that's what the, it's considered as Skyrim. Except it's just like air. It's not like fire. fire. Well, there's a bunch there of can be fire. Yeah, I guess. But uh, yeah, he's, anyways, he's, he's just like a oh, yeah. battle hardened soldier. He's just like the like the stereotypical like Viking soldier that you would see. Like so, he's like a big dude. Is he well trained? 
Yeah, he's a soldier. I, he, he's he's like he leads us. Yeah, like it's it's, right. it's just so weird. So with Mega Man, to like get how this is battle, Mega Man, but take Mega this Man, battle, out. he would go into the computer. Yeah, take I, it. There. He could do that. Okay. In Oblivion, there's a, there's a mission where you go into a painting and you fight some trolls. Yeah, take it there, Mega so, Man. All right, sorry, right, cool. Mega all right, cool. So, does Mega Man's things can that just go through a shield, like his his blast, his no, buster? I don't think so. Because um, in like the very first boss and like the very first Mega Man, there you fight a ship that has a shield and you have to like. Get I mean, think of those it. little those little yellow guys. They essentially have a shield on their head and they just so, duck down and you can't shoot them. So Mega Man, what are his powers? He can jump, double jump. He has a big. He's got a gun. Yeah, yeah, it, it depends on what game we're even talking about, really. I'd say like just his his regular his, his <laughs> platformer games, or because yeah, I've only played his Battle Network games. Just I, I, what does he do in the Battle Network games? Like Pretty much, there's like nine squares on your side, and there's nine squares on the enemy side, and you move around, and you shoot, and you get like all sorts of crazy abilities, and then there's like certain enemies on the other side. I've never played this game. They're actually really cool. Huh? You should borrow them. They're really fun. Dude, what does he have for attacks? But he can't jump. That's the only difference, pretty much. He has all sorts of attacks. Like what? You, this is what I want to know. Well, you can have swords, you can have shields, you can have heals, yeah. you can have all sorts of guns, you can have any bosses, like every boss, you know, they're... Their certain ability in like the regular games, every boss has their own ability. Um, I feel like his like you can make walls, he science, can, like, like, yeah, I know, like that's what I feel like this futuristic ability. Like he could just shoot. Like I remember in, uh, I think it was one of the games. I think it was PS2, but uh, he just shoots like a super energy blast, and it just like yeah, it's like, and yeah. it's like that'll just go right through his wooden shield. So, yeah, yeah, Mega Man. So Mega Man. Goofy him. Like, Tiger Seven is an awesome warrior, but it's one of those things where if he's fighting but a guy from shouts, his own right? time... Like, if you just don't shout, show up. That is true. He has a helmet there's on There's a though. shout for Could slowing time, isn't there? <laughs> there's a, there's a oh, shout... There's a ear shout? There's a shout for almost oh, anything. Okay. There's a shout to make him immortal. Yeah, but that's... For a certain amount of time. For a certain amount of time. Yeah, but you, uh, that runs on, like, AP, doesn't it? So you could, like, technically run out of shout until it refreshes if you oh, yeah. run too much. So, I mean... It's just a cooldown. There is no AP. Yeah? Yeah. And he has a necklace, the amulet of Talos. Actually, fifteen percent, fifteen percent reduced what reduction happens, on. Uh, what happens starts. if the necklace comes off of him? <laughs> then it goes back to normal. He's just chilling. What, what happens if Mega Man loses armor? He's just a naked dude. Like he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking Mega Man. I'm going Mega Man too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like I was. I don't know why we're. Keeping I think the Viking has to get too close to. Well, and it's one of the, yeah, and like we said, like he has bow. Sergeant Jones. It's bow, bows and arrows over Laura like Croft. laser cannons. Oh. oh. Okay, so just to so I'm gonna go with Laura Croft. Yeah, Laura Croft or Sergeant Johnson. From I'm gonna Hill. go ahead and vote Laura Croft. Really? Yep. Why? Because she can woo him with her feet, with no. her uh, with female the, features. With her, feet? Johnson. with her female features. <laughs> Sergeant Johnson doesn't get wooed. Tell me what Sergeant Johnson is. I have Sorry, no idea. Sergeant Johnson so is, he, is, he, is, he, is the most is useless NPC. the Marine Corps. He's he's, <laughs> he's <laughs> the most useless NPC in existence. Why did you put him in the fight? He's not that useless. He dies. He never shoots yeah, at anything. He, 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 he does a military, was, he does a military training, death. though, over Laura Croft. So, hand-to-hand combat, I feel like he'd win. Does he have weapons? He's yeah. a Marine, so... Okay. I feel like he just made him sound like he I, sucked. I, I feel like he might so. have um, a wider array of weapons than Laura Croft. Yeah, it, well, like I think guns. if you're, like, putting them in, like, you know, an arena where it's, like, 3, 2, 1, go, I think Sergeant Johnson's gonna win. But I think if they're in, like, a cityscape trying to kill each other, I think Laura Croft's gonna win that. What because if they're in a tomb? <laughs> <laughs> no. She's got it. And the Raider's gonna win. <laughs> yeah. So, because I mean, I think she's better at like evasiveness and you know oh, yeah. stealth attacks. Oh and yeah, stuff and like that. setting up traps and stuff. Yeah. But like, so, like I it said, takes time. he's just Sergeant a military Johnson, soldier. Like he he's just, who knows how to kill aliens. Okay, no, but he's got such bad aim. Have she you ever seen moves? Yeah. Have you ever seen him she hit some for a shot? She does mega backflips all the time. She I'm can jump up and then do a backflip and then land perfectly. Yeah. She always. She never falls. She doesn't uh, have armor. Uh, no, yeah, but the, yeah, but Sergeant Johnson can't hit anything anyway because his aim is terrible. So his aim's terrible, but he has good hand-to-hand combat. He has, does he have armor? He yeah. wears like pretty decent armor. He's got like a, advanced yeah. alloy, whatever they. Yeah, the although he leaves his head vulnerable because he's an idiot. Yeah, he's How's just got like a hat. I don't. I just said if it goes down to hand-to-hand, I feel like he'd win because he has military training. I feel like a military. Training would be Laura Croft. No, but and she's her not like she's just knives, training. though, right? Doesn't she have <laughs> like a knife? Yeah, she has multiple knives. But Military male. issue he knife. Did, I feel. I've like. never seen him use a knife. They, they don't probably have, all have it. I don't probably think they've ever any yeah. melee weapons, do they? I don't think so. He did just get a gravity hammer back of the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going Laura Croft. So I think Sergeant Johnson. I'm gonna go Sergeant Johnson. This is the guy that said like back in the day they had two rocks and a stick and they had to share the stick. 
But so I feel I like that guy's got it. I feel like Laura <laughs> that quote with the stick. That quote. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> that quote. I don't know. know. Like I, I am super biased towards Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, because I don't know Laura Croft's awesome, and I don't know too much about certain Jeffs. But I feel like it just goes down the thing where it's like it's basically a civilian versus a military trained professional. So no, you've just wait. What? Like Laura Croft is just she's a civilian, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. she is. I she's feel like she's not a military unit. Too. She's rich. She, yeah. she raised doesn't tombs. say she has any training. Though. So she's she a, she's, kills, a, she's an archaeologist. She kills then. goons every day. She's a nerd. Sergeant <laughs> Johnson is essentially a goon. She kills. Yeah, them. and but she, she is doesn't just, kill aliens. He does. She is just taking her. He doesn't kill aliens. He that shoots matter. in their general vicinity. Well, Chief does everything. Aliens do not matter in this fight because it's them against each other. But she just usually takes them like animals in those tombs and a few like guys are ones. Oh well, yeah. Well, no, like like her. Thing is game was smart and things, so it's like, like, like that one, but the original okay, one she so played you're killed lots of tigers. You're saying that uh, Johnson could win in hand to hand, but yet you're saying Laura Croft can go and run and take up a tiger. I think a tiger's harder to take down. But than she gets to shoot Johnson. the tiger with no armor. Where this guy's armor, mm-hmm. not on his head, the most vul- vulnerable. Yeah, spot. but she doesn't have armor anywhere, though. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, okay. and Johnson, she barely is close. And, and yeah, she's just, <laughs> yeah, she's not that well yeah. close to begin with. Johnson can't aim though. Like, honestly, like, you play the games. You've got to admit that Johnson can't yeah, aim. He's quick. Like, yeah, but in the games, he does. He has bad aim. But in cutscenes and stuff, he's got fantastic aim. When it comes down to it, like, even if he gets one stray bullet of an assault rifle, that's going to do some damage. Yeah, but even yeah. if she gets one stray bullet to his head, he's dead. But he just has to put, like, a gun over it and run real quick and then get to <laughs> He's not that smart. Hand. You guys are giving him way too much credit. I don't know much. I'm going off of what they've well, like, told me so far. Like... Like, you can look at it like, oh, he's just a useless NPC. But, like, for me, I, f- I look at it like he's the sergeant. Like, he's a sergeant in the army. And, like, yeah. I feel like he gets that title by going through the boot camp, like, learning to become a soldier, and just, like, mm-hmm. getting... Mil- he's like, kind of earned the right to not, like, you know what, I'll let these chumps yeah, fight like, for me. I'm just going to chill. But when the time comes, he will fight for his family. Yeah. yeah. Like, he could be chinchilling until the moment's right. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag chinchilling. I'm on uh, Mr. Sergeant Johnson's side, personally. Same. Johnson. I love I love Laura Croft, but yeah. sorry to Johnson. I'm sorry. All the guys picked the dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. of course, it looks terrible. <laughs> no, I just think the armor. Sexism she, is alive and well. If she, if she could have gone up against Agent Forty Seven or something like that, or some other. How is that not the exact same situation? It's the no guy armor, with the no gun. armor, no armor. That's the thing. Ooh. I'm, I'm, the gonna look, I'm gonna take a look and see how many holes there are in his armor. Johnson. All right, while you do that, we're going to go to the next one. We got, that's done. That's we got Zio, Radon, Raiden. No, there's Electric still, abilities. Oh, yeah. From Mortal Kombat. Okay. This time, not from the other one. Ooh, Jack both my picks. Oh, I'm going to go. I need, I need a quick uh, yeah. refresher on Jack, Jack of Blades. Blades? Abilities. Okay, he, so if anyone's played Fable. Uh, of course. Yeah. Only Fable 1, though. The other ones are kind of bad, so... I've, I've only played the first one. Cool. They have lost chapters. But anyways, uh, he is basically a very powerful... Uh, you could call him a mage, I guess. He, he does a lot of uh, magic-based abilities. He also has a sword. He uh, he can also turn to his dragon. That's his final form. Mm. So he's just a giant dragon, if That's he wants right. to be. Um, the first time you fight him, he's f- he's basically flying up in the air, and uh, he's just shooting stuff at you, so he's kind of hard to get at. Uh, so how could you kill him? Um, well, he's just ranged dude. attacks, bow and arrow. Magic, lightning, yeah. If you wanted to, because it's since yeah, I know. So yeah, Strong. you could do. But like I said, once he goes to final form, it's just riding versus a dragon. How? What does it take to get to final form? Uh, once he gets pissed off, he says, "Fuck it, I'm going final form." Oh, I'll see you guys in a second. And then he leaves, comes back as a dragon. Oh, yes, I'll leave. Yeah, he has to go to the telephone pole. He goes. <laughs> dragon suit. <laughs> okay, so I think Raiden loses. Yeah, I know. It's like. Raid's Ray, awesome, it's and Ray's it's one of, it's one of those moments. Lightning. <laughs> he's like he's just like a like a ninja, like very well trained warrior who has lightning available. So he would beat him down enough to turn him into a dragon and then lose. Pretty much. Okay. So it would be, it'd shock be a, a great fight, but I don't <laughs> think he could shock a dragon to death. Yeah, and just flies yeah. around, comes down, swoops. You have anything to update us on there, Taylor? Who do you think would win? I really don't know. Wait, really? Were you listening to anything? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting ready. Okay, no, he saw that Ezio was coming up next, and so he's looking up stats for Ezio. <laughs> Does Ezio have any <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who Tyrell is, so. <laughs> See, I'm totally right. He fucking scoped it out. All right, Jack of uh, Blades. We'll go Jack of Blades. Jack, Jack, Jack of Blades. Blades. Last fight, yeah. Tyrell versus uh, Ezio with a T. Okay, so whoever knows So I'm going to go Tyrell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tyrell, Tyrell right? Tyrell right. is an archangel. 
Um, so he's from heaven. <laughs> he doesn't have skin. He can fly because he has wings because he's an angel. Um, <laughs> can he, he though? Yes, he can. Have I, I have I seen him fly? I don't think. I, have. Oh my God. I don't know what you've seen. You you also think he's yeah, Tyrell. What can he fly? Can he fly? Have you seen yes, him fly? Yes, no, he can. Because okay, so when, he can when you go to talk to him, he's floating. So, in, so he's floating. He's floating fly. with his wings. His wings are going like so this. So he can float, but can he fly? Yes, yes he, can he can fly. What else can he do? Right. He, he, has, he has a flaming sword, so he's he's trained in the arts of sword. Is he trained in any combat? Yeah, he's his job is to fight demons, basically. Mm. Make sure Diablo doesn't come back. Now Ooh. give us a rundown. So does, Ezio, does Ezio compare to Diablo? Well, Ezio <laughs> has Diablo. Ezio can fly. Before we start this, once the again, Taylor machine. is wearing um, Assassin's Creed necklace, shirt, and belt buckle. Don't so the belt. there's a little bit of bias. Can oh, belt and, and the belt, belt as well. We can oh, and how, the hoodie. How can oh he? Oh my god! <laughs> how can he fly? He has the flying machine because. Leonardo gave it to him. I feel like wings are better than the flying machine. Yeah. These are like wings. Yeah, they're no, like wings. They're, they're not quite as natural. <laughs> they're not wings. Yeah. You can't no, just like be on the ground and be like, fly. Maybe he could if he wanted to. Yeah, maybe no, he, he could. Can't. But <laughs> this guy can just fly. He need, remember, he needs to fly over the fires. to get And what are those view. wings made out of? Paper. Or some so what polyurethane. So, so what happens when that fire is paper? Let's get over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so does, uh, does he have any. Uh, what are his weapons situation? He's got. Does he have a gun? He does have a gun. That's what? attached to his wrist, so he just flicks up and bam. Ooh, how's right that going to hurt an angel? Yeah, I know. Wait, what? He's an archangel, right? I'll look up a how photo a gun just so you can see. Are it. we at the point where this guy just can't die? I don't know. He dies in the game. Oh, yeah, he dies in the game. How does he die? I don't know. I've never played Diablo three. <laughs> I've only played. Uh, does Diablo anyone 3. know how he died? I've played Diablo three. I have played through the story at least seven times. I do not remember. Yeah, me too. Here, I'll I know how he up. dies. I'll look it up. And to me, that's gonna be the same factor because well, he, he falls can't... from heaven, like at the start of the game. <laughs> that's him, right? The, but he doesn't first... die at the start of the game. Okay, I, I don't know because I never played it. So, you, like, I need you need to give me information, man. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, you knew a lot of information for not from the second one. I thought he had skin. Apparently, in the second one, he fights. He fights the. Just like let me know. wins by default. Let, no, let me know how he dies. That's going to be my design factor. Well, even this, like, the wings, like, if you shoot him, are, do you, how effective are the wings at that That's point? That's what I'm... Well, what, no, his wing, like, here. The stats? Gotta look up this. Quality. What else does he got? He got he so, like, those are his wings. <laughs> he they're just, like, like, it's not like they're, it's not like they're bird wings. They're just, okay. they're there. How does he die? That's I what don't I want to know. I, I believe you on the well, wings. Ezio's got the, um... <laughs> grenades? He's got his gun. He does have, um... Apple smoke beam. grenades. He can oh, throw coins to I get people swarming those around. Those aren't useful. <laughs> yes, um, he's, got, <laughs> he's got his hidden blade. He's got poison Yeah, well, yeah smoke grenades. <laughs> um, he's got his sword. Actually, he's got dual wrist blades. I forgot about that. And he's got his poison. So he can wrist shoot blades poison are arts. useless but against a flaming sword. Against a flaming sword. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> What else does he have? I mean, technically, he does get the apple of Eden, and he does get to okay. <laughs> 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 I've been trying not to go there. Shut up. I've been trying not to go there. <laughs> he has it in his what back pocket. He? he said apple of Eden. I'm trying <laughs> not to go there. He dies. Uh, it just says um, he's fully mortal, uh, but Ooh. has a fully angelic soul as opposed to a half angelic, half demon. So, assuming he's relatively powerful for a mortal, but difficult to kill, but he can die. So, who's the better fighter? That's what I want to know. Tyrael. Yeah, he can. He has wings. He can fly. And he's, he's also been sword. like he's been alive for he's so long. He's got an long. angelic soul. So he's literally been trained. Flying doesn't make you the better superior. I know, but like though. I like I was gonna say, but you did bring up the wings. But you're so just you, you're just saying. He, <laughs> well, no, like he's I just said. a person versus an archangel. Yeah, like how old is? Is Altair or whoever Ezio. you chose Ezio. 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 He's like eighty-seven <laughs> something. Maybe. Well, I'm not 40, talking about 40, old Ezio. No, <laughs> no it doesn't, I'm talking about his lifespan. <laughs> Tyrion has been like he's literally <laughs> centuries old. Like he could have been training for centuries. <laughs> like that's a little bit more not like he probably came knowledge. across in his day the Apple of Eden and said this thing is cheesy. I'm not gonna. Use yeah. It. <laughs> he's like that's so. <laughs> <laughs> and and it was because of that mistake uh, that he would lose. I think all that's the old. I feel like Tyrell has this one. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, if he like, if oh, he like gets it close, Th this will be a twenty-minute debate had, for Taylor. He won't get four to one. Close, though, yeah, I think it's four <laughs> to one. Why wouldn't he get close? Because, it because Tyrell has increased flight abilities and a flaming. Sword. He can also grab him, but, but he has to wings. get up close to use his. He can also sword. grab okay, him with his. Okay, but then how does the assassin kill him? 
Well, that's the thing. Like Tyrell has to come up close to him at some point. But no, point. Then, and then when he, he comes, comes up, up when he comes up close, <laughs> what does he do? Then so he's much. he's fully mortal, right, for a body. <laughs> but he's extremely hard to kill. So all Ezio has to do is just flick his poison into him, and he's flick his poison. That's what you don't know that. He doesn't have bloodstream though. Oh like he's yeah, he's but he's fully mortal. Yeah, he, he said he's he doesn't have a bloodstream. Yeah. What does does he not have like any body? At all? He's what? an angel soul. I don't know what an angel soul looks like. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not an angel Can myself. Well, how, do you, how do you know he doesn't have a bloodstream? Like his uh, what is he doesn't, he doesn't have a face. He doesn't really yeah, have but skin. Yeah, it's covered though. We don't get to see his face. He doesn't have skin. <laughs> how do you know he doesn't have skin? He has his face. Oh my god. I, mean, I don't know. Okay, if we left so Taylor to debate this, he would debate this for an hour, and I'm pretty sure everyone else thinks that he, Ezio is gonna let oh, his. I knew Ezio wasn't gonna win this. <laughs> Against just, Tyrell, really? Of course he does. Now you're I calling mean, him Tyrell too. How is a uh, mortal gonna kill an angel? I mean, he is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. He's I was immortal. focusing on like he is I was focusing on 17 year old Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> not 87. Not year old. well, not, not the one with the apple of Eden. Because if he had the apple of Eden, I'm sure he would just destroy Tyrell. Well, well he would. <laughs> <laughs> apple of Eden's stupid. Where can they find us, Taylor? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they can find us on Google, Facebook, with the internet. In the search bar, Geek vs. Podcast. Geek vs. Space Podcast, everybody. You'll find everything you need to know that is geek-related. Make sure that you don't forget the space. <laughs> and then, and then space. on Twitter, you can find us at Geek vs. Cast for weekly news updates on iTunes. Watch your foot. SoundCloud. And on SoundCloud and all that good jazz. So All the good jazz. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Oh, With they can't see hand sign. <laughs> They can't see you. What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That got heated.